Okay, hello everyone. So today we will look at uh, our question twelve. Yeah, you see, question twelve is about、uh, what problem and、uh, a lot of ratio and percentage. So we should read the question step by step and sentence by sentence. Okay, first we know the ratio of male to female students is just fifteen to eight. So we have P six students and P five students. So the male to female, fifteen to eight. So we can write it like we have fifteen x male student and eight x female student. And after that, want to add up、uh, some P five students in the competition. So and we know the number of female and the male students in P five is same. So we can just assume P five students just the one unit and one unit. So also. The total number of the female students is twenty eight percent less than the total number of male students. Yeah, the number of female, which means the number of the female equals to something times number of male. You see, twenty eight percent less. So equals to one minus twenty eight percent and times the number of male. So we can write down a parameter algebra equation. It will become eight x plus unit. Equals to one minus twenty eight percent and times fifteen x plus one unit. You see the number of the female and the number of the male. So we can calculate unit one u equals to ten x. So we can rewrite it one unit equals to ten x and one unit equals to ten x. Also later, yeah, the organizing committee decided to add eighteen more female students to the P six group. So. The female students in P six will become eight x plus eighteen, and we find find out the total number of male students will be one over four greater than the total number of female students. So the P five, yeah, we can write it from this sentence. We can also write an algebra equation. So the number of male equals to how many? Yeah. One plus one over four times the number of female. So it will be fifteen x plus ten x equals to one plus one over four, and times eight x plus ten x. And don't forget this eighteen. Okay. So after that, we can solve out one ten x equals to nineteen. And when you solve this equation, you don't need to find out x equals to one. So just stop at the ten x equals to ninety. Why? Because we want to calculate P five group. Originally, it's planned to have how many students? Actually, it's ninety. Ten x, ten x, ten x equals to ninety, and、uh, male plus female. Yeah, it should be one hundred and eighty students. Okay. See this question? Yeah,、uh, we read the sentence. Uh, one sentence and one sentence, and every sentence we can write a formula and use the table to help us analyze the word problem. And after that, uh, list the two algebra equation, and you can find out the answer. Yeah, here is the method one. We use algebra equation. So, let's look at another method. So at first we have male and female, right? So we know the ratio is just fifteen、uh, to eight. Fifteen to eight, and after that, yeah, you find out if we plus the same people in P five, the number will、uh, still increase, and maybe the difference between the male and female will it change? No, it won't change any. So we know at last. The total number of female students is twenty eight percent less than the total number of male students. So the ratio will become one hundred to seventy two. Yeah, because one hundred minus twenty eight, right? So after that, we can simplify it, and you find out it should be twenty five to eighteen. You see, the difference changed or not? Yeah, they both add ten. The difference is still seven, right? So from this one to this one. It plus ten part. Actually, we can use ten unit to represent. So also,、uh, yeah, you see this one plus ten unit. This one also plus ten unit because we add the same number of male and female student. Now after that, 
Yeah, the organizing community decided to add 18 more female students to the P6 group. And uh, finally, the total number of male students would be 1 over 4, greater than the total number of female students. Yeah, we can write down the result is just a 5 to 4. Remember, the difference is changed or not. Yeah, of course changed because we add 18 people. So 5 to 4, but we add 15, 18 people on what is on only female students so we maybe female pass something it will become uh five two four but the male number never change so five to four it should be 25 to 20. so you see from 18 to 20 it increased uh, by two unit so this two units is what yeah just this 18 people so we can see 2 unit equals to 18. So 1 unit equals to what? Yeah, 9. And remember, we are calculate what? Five, P5 group, the students of P5 group. So you see this plus 10 unit about female and also 10 unit to the male. That was the P5 student. So we are calculating 20 unit equals to 180. Okay, here's the two method of this question. Yo, know, the method one, you just can use the algebra equation to represent all the things by x and u. And about method two, you need to find out the difference of male and female students. Maybe at first, the not change. And after that, at 18 people, the ratio relationship between male and female will change. And after that, you use the change of the ratio and the relationship about male and female. Then you can find out the answer.